one. So if you had a DeLorean from Back to the Future, each of you, th the three of you, your own, and you could go forward or backward in time, um, and you didn't have to worry about, let's say that if you were all concerned about human history, you wouldn't have to worry about, you know, your clothing or your currency or spreading or contracting diseases, right? Let's just consider that. Now, if you were also concerned about, if you, if you were going further back in time, you wouldn't have to worry about being in the vacuum of space or burning up in the Big Bang, whatever that was. And if you were going further in time, okay, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Yeah, yeah. My point okay. is, when would you go and why for each of you? Thank you. Thank you so much. You don't understand what this means to me. What, what if the answer is right before you ask that question? <laughs> truth there is, I, I like the question, I just knew that was going to get a huge laugh. So. I would say, <laughs> I would say don't, you don't take, yeah, and it would be considered right. to you, yes, my okay. friend. Do you want to go first? <laughs> now we have to answer the question. Now we have to answer it. Um, you, you know, I, 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 I honestly don't know. I'm very curious about what would happen going forward. Um, and seeing mm. which interpretation of quantum mechanics uh, turns out to be true. <clears throat> I, by the way, um, am a Bohmian. I've always uh, liked Bohm, Bohm's interpretation. Um, I think it does the least violence to our intuitions. But um, So I would like to, you know, there are so many questions that we have and we would love to see how, how it plays out into the future. Um, and we have no idea. But I guess because I've spent so much time trying to imagine what it would be like, would I, would I have to go back as myself? Yes. Oh. But you wouldn't have to worry about blending in. Like, it's a society, you would know the language immediately, et cetera, et cetera. Yeah, okay. I was going to say I want to go back to ancient Greece, but I wouldn't want to go back as a woman. Okay, uh, that's fine. All right, I want, yeah. I want to now follow this question further. Yeah. Uh, Please if, do. If you could meet, if you had to choose between meeting Plato, Socrates, or Aristotle, which would you choose? Uh, Plato. Plato, over Socrates. Oh yeah, absolutely. Okay. That's actually not a surprise if you've read her book, which is for sale in the lobby. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. uh, Max, where would you go? I would, um, Point zero. I really love, um, Oh, then I would get burned up by the heat. But I, I, I no, would, you don't I, have to worry about that. I, it's I, okay. I would go back and meet some people who greatly inspired me in books, who I never had the chance to meet. I think I would not say anything to them to, to, to avoid causing any sort of retrocausation meltdown of the cosmos, but just be there and listen in and maybe look, watch their facial expressions also when they had some, made some great discoveries, be a fly on the wall. And then I also want to apologize for weaseling out of your question you answered it actually. You said you're, you believe in the Bohm interpretation. So I, I should tell you, I, 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 I don't, my job as a scientist isn't to believe in anything. But I, if I were betting, which I love to do, I would bet most money on the many worlds interpretation. And in fact, the whole chapter seven and eight in my mathematical universe book is all about why I think that's the most likely. So I would, for example, love to go back in time and be a fly on the wall of you Everett's. Uh, <laughs> Dorm room, you know, when he came up with a many world interpretation. I would yeah. like to love to go back and see who Jesus was and what 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 the deal was. <laughs> actually, that, that's on my yeah. short list. As yeah. strange as that sounds, I would go back and meet Jesus. Yes. Yeah. Uh, just just to be able to come back and tweet about it and complicate my life. Next, uh, your next podcast. Yep. So uh, I'm not gonna, I, I don't have a great answer to your question, but uh, it, it is filtered very much to the lens of who, what person I would would want to interact with, and and strangely Jesus, Jesus is on the on the list, the very short list, just because of 
the, the kind of the mysterious sway he has on so much of humanity. Yeah. 